Hello, Tasland. Well, our new emissions trading scheme has been unveiled and the clock is ticking for companies to figure out how they will deal with it. Any self-respecting company will have already evaluated their sector and their greenhouse gas emissions to see if they fall under the scheme. For those that do need to cut their emissions, the question is how to do this at the cheapest possible cost. Some companies are ahead of the curve, using the ETS as a platform for launching new innovations. Taslandian company Clean Taz Tech has announced exciting advancements in their biogas energy products for commercial buildings. And their latest biogas generator is expected to be more affordable than ever before, especially for those who need to reduce their emissions. I bet we'll be seeing their generators in many new places, but they'll have to stay on their toes. Other manufacturers are looking to provide options in the low emission space. Solar panels, wind turbines, smart energy use apps. They're all using the ETS to launch new and affordable products that minimise greenhouse gas emissions. Right. Well, our carbon and energy team have crunched the numbers and our steel refinery is just over the threshold. We're going to have to do something about this. Can't we just sell the refinery? We don't want to have to deal with this. We've already set up several agreements to sell our excess uh, output. Uh, I don't want to get rid of such a large asset without considering all of our options. Well, we have to make an educated decision. Can we reduce emissions? And how much will it cost us? Didn't our carbon and energy officer talk about this at the last operations meeting? Um, yes, they called it marginal abatement cost curves. They said it's a tool we can use to figure out which projects will reduce the most emissions from our refinery while costing us the least amount of money. Many of these projects may be too expensive. Yes, but like we saw with the lighting retrofit in our offices last year, some of the projects can also save us money. In any case, if we're not reducing emissions, we'll be paying for ETS allowances. So we should be investigating any abatement projects that are cheaper than the cost of allowances. Mm. I agree. We at least need to consider all of our abatement options. Sam, can you please ask for our carbon and energy manager to compile a portfolio of abatement options for the company, please? 